Good morning everybody and welcome to Wednesday Worship. My name is Craig Skadden and this is my wife Sue. Today's uh, discussion is going to be on exploring miracles, Sabbath healing and featuring Matthew 12 verses 9 to 14. Right, I'm just reading from the Freedom Bible, the Contemporary English Version. So this is Matthew 12, verses 9 to 14. Jesus left and went into one of the Jewish meeting places where there was a man whose hand was crippled. Some Pharisees wanted to accuse Jesus of doing something wrong and they asked him, is it right to heal someone on the Sabbath? Jesus answered, if you had a sheep that fell into a ditch on the Sabbath, wouldn't you lift it out? People are worth much more than sheep, and so it is right to do good on the Sabbath. Then Jesus told the man, hold out your hand. The man did, and it became as healthy as the other one. The Pharisees left and started making plans to kill Jesus. So you said to me earlier that uh, this uh, reading leapt out at you. Can you explain why that's the case? Well, at the moment I've got um, a hand that's healing. I had uh, planned surgery seven weeks ago and I'm halfway through recovery to an operation to the, the joint in my wrist, to the bones and ligaments. Um, and so when this reading's about the man with a crippled hand, it really did leap out at me. Um, and it's made me contemplate my surgery and my recovery and I firmly believe that my hand surgeon skills are God-given skills. My hand is healing slowly but surely in comparison to the man with the withered hand in the reading. Um, but I do believe that, that the skills were from God. So yeah, that, that's why it seemed quite familiar. So did you think your, your hand's been healed or are you still not quite sure? It's, it is slowly healing. I'm having physio, doing exercises and, and it is slowly, slowly healing and it, it will be okay in the end in a few more weeks. So what you're saying is healing can be either instantaneously, instantaneous or slow and something that doesn't even happen at all or we don't see it happening, is that what you're saying? I think so. From, from what I've read and I understand is that healing is in God's hands yeah. and sometimes it's instantaneous and sometimes it's slow and sometimes it doesn't happen in our world now but I believe it happens when we're in eternity with him. Right, that's interesting. Because uh, the, the reading also led to me, uh, and I think it's a bit of a good instance that we're doing this uh, reading today because uh, for those that don't know, I was born with cerebral palsy and uh, I've got a paralysis down the right side of my body. And uh, I remember as a young kid, uh, when I used to dream of playing for, for Scotland or football, I used to go to bed and hope that I would wake up the next morning and uh, I would be in uh, brackets normal uh, and uh, I must admit that it took some time for that uh, uh, to disappear mm. and I know you now say that I'm probably one of the most relaxed people in, in my body and but it took me to probably my early 30s to actually accept that I had a disability and uh, uh, from my point of view uh, I think the healing process, I think God um, made me with my disability for a reason and that what, what happened with me in terms of the healing process wasn't so much a physical healing but more an acceptance so I think it was actually a healing of the soul and of the heart yeah. where I, 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 um, I would probably say uh, when I was in my early 20s I wasn't a very nice person, I would probably say I had a chip on my shoulder, but as I got older and I accepted it, I mellowed and uh, I, I now uh, understand my disability, I work with my disability, but I, I feel that it's, uh, it, it was, I was given it for a reason and it's almost, a, and, and I can act as a role model 
for other people who have got a similar disability. Mm. Uh, so I say I think it's been more a healing of the spirit and the soul for myself. Mm. You're definitely um, the person, the only person I've met who's totally comfortable with their own body, mm. and, and that that struck me when I first met you. Mm. So yeah, it's an interesting perspective on yeah. healing. I wondered, shall we close with a healing prayer? I think that would be a good idea. Okay. So, merciful God. We entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening. We'll yes, see you all soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Some have come